What's going on? I'm Dope. This is Dope Comics. This is my YouTube channel. What's shaking bacon? What's going on, neck bone? Let's do it to it. Today we're going to be talking with a little uh, Tuma Draclia. We got 23 comic books laying around here and a couple other things. We have 25 total items. Uh, we're going to be talking Tuma Draclia, Marvel. I'm not really the biggest Marvel fan, but probably one of my... It, well, it is. My, Tomb of Dracula is my favorite Marvel horror line. They don't have a lot to choose from. But uh, if I was going to go with some one-off thing I like from Marvel, it'd be Tomb of Dracula. It's the only horror they really have. So uh, let's do it to it and let's get to the comic books. This is probably my favorite horror Marvel comic book of all time. This, to me, is better than number 10. I'm more of a Dracula guy and less of a Blade guy. But this is just classic to me. Love this book. I wish I had a couple more copies of it. Love it. Maybe one day. Number two. Awesome. And the reason all these are raw, I picked these up not too long ago from a guy's private collection. And I like them raw. They're, they're not in really good shape. But they got a great vibe to them. Number three. This lady in the green. I love her. I don't know why. She's got a little poochy belly there. She just looks like she's about four months pregnant. But I love her. She's on my favorite Tomb of Dracula cover ever. Which we'll get to in a little bit. Number four. This one to me is pretty cool. They're all pretty cool. 20 Center, Tomb of Dracula. Dracula was 70 issues. It started in 1972 and went through 79, I believe. Uh, I would have never thought it made a 70 issues, but it did. This one here, it's all right. Not their best cover. It's all right. It's all right. I do love this one. Issue number six with this old creature from the muck back here. See that guy? Awesome cover. And I don't know what it is, but every issue you got some damn girl laying on the ground about dead. So it's like, who's going to draw the dead girl today? And I like everything about this. I like the kids back here, the spaced out eyes. One thing I don't like is Dracula don't look too scary there. He, they should have worked on that a little bit. I mean, he looks like some kind of, I don't know, down Jerry Lee Lewis or something. He looks happy. I don't know. Welcome to the show. Everybody dance. I don't know what he's doing. So, but a little too happy for me there. I don't like happy Dracula. All right, here we go with eight. Looks cool here. Like these little zombie people coming out of the ground. She's scared shitless because of these zombies coming out of the ground. But she don't give a fuck that there's a damn vampire right here. She, I mean, come on, man. Another one back here. She's surrounded. I like the grays. I like the old iridescent. That's a good one right there. It's number eight. Nine's kind of whack. Guy's got a giant cross laser. Burn the shit out of you. So I'm I'm not feeling the cross laser. That's not the best weapon I've ever seen. And uh, the fire cross, it says. There's no escape, Count Dracula. Even if you can stand before the fire cross. Shooting his ass with that fire cross. Looks like a damn antenna used to go inside of my house. And what's she so scared of? That damn fire cross ain't gonna do nothing to her. But that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Now for my favorite Dracula cover of all time. This is the shit. This is number, oh, before we get to it, that was number nine. I don't have a number 10. I don't have Blade. I'm not a Blade fan. I wouldn't mind having it. The book's probably worth $2,000. But for $2,000, I 
If I had $2,000, I'd buy a Precord Hora. I've done it over and over again. I don't buy a Blade. If I had $2,000, I could get Golden Age Superman or Super Superman or Batman. So there's a lot of things I would take with $2,000 and buy Superman, Batman, Golden Age Horror before I'd buy Blade. But it's probably worth it if you like that thing. Okay, my favorite cover of all time, number 19, Girl in the Green. Love this cover. Love this cover. This cover is the shit. And he's just going to sit there and take it. I mean, it, I mean that's, that's a pretty big steak. I mean, that's a damn widow maker for sure right there. That's a big-ass wooden steak. I mean, that's like a damn baseball bat. He's just sitting here with his bell bottoms on. Chilling like a villain, still in penicillin while he's jumping on the ceiling. About the best I can rap. All right. What else we got? We got issue 21. 21. The flames look badass. The color choices look badass. Filling this cover. I'm liking the flames. I'm digging it. Digging it. Green always looks good. And I don't know. If this is just an ugly drawn man from the 70s with some shaggy hair, if I'm supposed to be a werewolf. I don't know. But I'm liking this one. Vampire battles vampire. And the sinister duel of the unliving. So I guess he's a vampire. He's not a werewolf. A vampire got his shirt tucked in. He's got to be stylish. So. Here's that one. Here's 23, man. Uh, Lord of the living lightning. My grandma, she wouldn't cuss. She is a very southern, religious, old lady. But she would say stupid shit instead of saying cuss words when she got mad. And that sounds like something she'd say. Boy, get in here, Lord of the Living Lightning. What's wrong with you? Lord of the Living Lightning. So, that would be how she would cuss. Got some shooting some lightning out of his hands. Kicking ass right there, boy. I don't know how a vampire's gonna kill it down. Scarecrow guy with lightning shooting out of his hands. And then we got number 23 for the 23rd book we've shown. So this is number 23, classic house. Got the cape opens up, double cover. Cause if you look at it here, it looks like it's outside, but then it's inside his cape. Got the double vision. So it's pretty cool. And uh, this is about an exorcism. The Lord of Vampires and the Soul Shuddering Secret. Shadow over Haunted Castle. But it's not a castle. It's a fucking, it's a fucking house. But anyway, I feel you. I know what they're trying to, trying to do. But all right. It is. Bum, 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 bum. Bonus book. Bonus book. Bonus book time. So earlier, we saw this one. My favorite Dracula. Dracula number one. Or 19. I like them both. A couple other ones I like too. They're all my favorite. But anyway, we saw this one. This is my favorite. So I thought since I showed you this, I would show you this. I picked this up a couple years ago. This is Dracula number one, and I think it's got Dracula number two in it also. And this is the Spanish version. El Note El Vampero. Exactly what that says. That was perfect Spanish. So this is from the same era. Might be, a, you know, this is 72. This could be late 72, 73. I don't know exactly what year it is, but this is the Spanish version. Of this. So, Spanish version, American version. So, if you lived in Mexico, you could buy this one. And I don't know how much that cost up there. 20 cents over here. Voila. I like to pick up these. I like all these import versions of these books. They just got a special coolness to them because you don't see them every day. So, 
Glad I picked this up. I'm glad to have it. I think this one looks better, but I would take this one because nobody has it. I ain't gonna say nobody, but I don't know nobody with it. Then the other thing I'm going to show you is this is the other cover I love. We talked about it. And down here, Snowbound in Hell. It's a badass cover, right? Well, I also have the record. This is the book record set. So you can read the comic while listening to it on the 45. And the 45's in here. Sometimes you find these, they don't have the record in them. But this is the comic book record set. And they made this for little kids. And what they did, they changed it. They thought this was a little too, little too uh, fucked up for kids. You know, the snowbound in hell. So now it says, Terra in the snow. So you got the comic. And the record. And I guess a lot of people love this cover besides me because they use it on the record. They use it on the hardback uh, trade. This is a big time cover. So I'm feeling it. Record. And there's also records. I got records of other things too. You can get like a, there's a bunch of horror ones. There's a, I know there. I've got a Batman like this and a couple other of these. And they all got this blue line across the top. And they're all made by the same people. And they're all $1.49. So I guess they all came out at the same time. And it's just a book book record set. So always check those if it's got the record in. It's a lot cooler if it's got the record in. Because the record is never in them hardly at all. So, but thought that was badass. That's the record, y'all. But we're out of here in 12 minutes. We got one done today. So I hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed, subscribe, subscribe down below. Punch that down button. Subscribe today. Join the family. We're going to keep on making content like this. Hopefully, it's getting better and better. I'm learning how to do things. I'm feeling more confident. So, we're getting there. Until next time. Pew, pew.